dear students now we are going to uh, go ahead and learn about what are the principles involved in the natural justice here you will see that there are four principles first and foremost that one must enact in a fair uh, mode if they are not then they are not considered to be following the uh, natural justice and complaints may be raised against him or her second is the no question of impartiality now when we are talking about the natural justice remember that the, the impartiality in actions or the uh, decision making skills are totally um, you know absent out here so this means that i need uh, should not be uh, partial in any manner and i need to think a lot so uh, you know here you can see um you know how much time a person is taking hero is taking to in order to uh, you know act in a very fair position next comes the just procedural steps must be adhered so whatever procedures have been um, you know laid out for that person or uh, you know given to them in the books they need to follow accordingly it must be carried out in an equitable manner that means for they need to see the justice the person who has done the wrong and the person on whom it has victim as well as the um i should say the offender how uh, nicely you are going to tackle those situation and come up with a fair uh, judgment is the most important thing that we need to understand here then comes that there are various steps which are involved in the procedural fairness so we need to uh, uh, see what are these steps and how to proceed further first and foremost one has to see that our end here the theological uh, part that i'm talking about is the fair you know that has to be fully impartial one without any kind of selfishness even uh, something wrong happens to me that's fine however i need to see to whether the opposite person is getting absolute um, you know judge justice and in the end then the end outputs must be appropriate at any cost so you know we go ahead and see that yes these uh, end that we can see should be the most appropriate one fair treatment question only acha now the question arises for us when we are talking about the fair treatment what do you think this fair treatment is restricted only to human beings now even within the human beings also you should see babies then i'm talking about the entire hierarchy let us start off with the human beings first with uh, i'm talking about the unborn child all kinds of fetuses right from the uh, level of the zygote i'm talking about from there abortion that is also there for us fetus is also there then experiments on the fetus the uh, scanning of the uh, uh, you know gender in order to know what gender uh, you know the uh, uh, embryo is basically then comes uh, you know after the child is born are we giving the equal and the fair uh, acts is being taken care by mom and dad also or it is not then comes later on the feminist you know the woman who is being taken care of now what kind of a justice is being there then comes even men sometimes now uh, when we see in the society that the rapes are taking place for men so what do you think about it the wrong things the abusing the domination arguments which are present on one side now this is uh, you know pertaining to the domain of human beings but when i uh, come across to non human animals do you think that they also require uh, some kind of a justice the answer is yes now we have got the animal law so we have seen that yes we are taking up that fair judgments even towards the animals now when i talk about animals they involve everything except for corona uh, covid 19 that's the exceptional one otherwise the rest all of them have been taken care in a very positive manner then birds um fishes worms uh, everything you know including the leeches also side by side now the question there are certain ways you know in which they are questioning do we have that right to do it or nature takes it its own toll um, you know to come up with the justice uh, in the entire environment so you know these are the uh, procedural things that you need to understand starting off from the human domain till the environment and try to understand how it is taking place then there is always right to be heard no unbiased decision 
making this is very much necessary for us then uh, one should even know the nature of the allegations as i said except for the covid 19 so the allegations that we are saying that yes uh, you know coronavirus is like this 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 is it also right on our part or uh, when i hear to the spiritual leaders uh, i'm talking about the spiritual individuals who help us and they tell us that yes during this time rather than cursing rather than using the negative sentences rather than hearing the negative things it's always better that you are refraining from all these things and you're trying to meditate you're being in that positive state of mind and leading a very happy life so you know how do you take these things also is something that you need to question all by yourselves if you're watching so many videos on whatsapp and facebook also regarding the covid 19 then comes what we call it as the responses to the allegations must be heard you yourself are in judge also side by side don't think that judges the person who gets a degree and th those are the professional ones however even we human beings sometimes you know when we are uh, in some situations we need to take up those judgments so how do those procedural fair things are coming up is also something that we need to understand and this is where philosophy helps us a lot appeal to decision must be present so before you're taking up and final decisions you need to appeal to it also and check it out as to whether the final decision is the right one also or not now um, the next one that i'm going to talk about is three forms of biasness which i said earlier that i'll be talking about later on so here comes the three uh, biasness that we have got one in the form of the personal biasness the other one is the pecuniary biasness and the third one is the subject matter biasness so when i'm talking uh, there are a lot of things which are present for us that however when we talk about the personal uh, biasness what do we mean by it personal biasness means that i as a human being uh, you know have got a certain biasness all by myself and I am taking care of it in some form or the other form and introducing it into the society so it can be in terms of my own opinions my colors uh, I want to go step out uh, walk in whatever way I want I would love to interact now you know these are certain things wherein uh, people are involved and then they are proceeding further however remember that personal businesses are not based on any kind of uh, facts these are all actually the uh, personal opinions which are there and it is uh, based upon the person who is um, you know taking up the decision and then proceeding further in order to know certain things so here you will see that yes a lot of things are there and we need to understand whether this is the right way or not now similarly when we are talking about the pecuniary biasness now here you will see that any thing that is related to money or valued in terms of the money we are talking about the pecuniary biasnesses in the sense that a person comes to the judge hands over the money gives a bribe and you will see mostly in the films you know the villain party is always when they are going to uh, tackle hero and they are aware that yes we can uh, in a very crooked manner go ahead and uh, you know uh, dominate the other person you will see that the villain is trying to throw money or trying to give the bribe or or uh, suppress the other person so all these things also you are able to um, you know perceive and understand in the society similarly comes the subject matter now you see if i am dealing uh, with animals it can be possible that uh, you know when um, let's say some of us who are non vegetarians now on one hand you say that yes you love animals on the second hand you see that the person is sitting and munching the dish you know so how do you um, go ahead and uh, discuss that yes how do you love animals if you really love animals that means it has to be in each and every manner so you know those are the subject matter biasnesses that we are talking about sometimes when we um, discuss about the natural justice in the similar manner on the lines of this you know there are certain exceptional cases and we should know what are they where the natural justice is not taking place 
especially in the cases of the emergency. It is the prime minister or the president who have got the complete right and they are not going to hear to any other person except for the uh, self decision making as a leader. They would be stepping in and taking care of it. Like we can see that uh, Yogi Ji's father when he died, what happened? Yogi did not go there saying that no, I'm going to follow the social distance and he followed it. Now, I don't know whether you will consider this to be also a part of the natural justice or not. I'm just citing this example. In the same manner, confidentiality. Now, there are certain things which are confidential. No matter what happens, I'm not supposed to leak out. It is a confidential matter, so it will be retained with me only. Daily matters or routine cases. Now, exceptional, uh, you know, these things are sometimes. Now, in case something happens, which is not a routine one, then how are you going to consider? For example, in the jungle book, wherein we see that Mowgli living amongst the uh, jungle non-human animals, they are able to identify, no, he is not amongst us. He is a human being, you know, whereas uh, he himself says, no, I'm part of you. I'm not a human being. Then, uh, you know, animals make him realize it. Go there and see. There, you, uh, you know, the inhabitants, you are part of that particular society and, you know, the, he is being realized on those manner. Similarly, impracticability, sometimes there are cases where we cannot uh, go ahead and uh, follow the rules and regulations of the natural justice. Then comes interim uh, preventive actions. Those are also necessary. If, um, you know, preventive actions need to be taken up, we do go ahead and adhere to them rather than going against them. Similarly, the legislative actions. So these are uh, some of the things that I want you to remember when you are uh, discussing or thinking about natural justice in the domain of philosophy also. So I'm going to end here and let me come up with another kind of justice theory for you. Till then, thank you and take care. Bye.